In this video, we'll learn how to make purchases from the Palace Marketplace and Biblioboard. The Palace Marketplace provides the opportunity for you to take more control of your e-content purchasing experience. To use the Palace Marketplace, you must first complete the Institutional Member Agreement, or IMA, form. Libraries are under no obligation to purchase as part of their membership, and there are no annual spending requirements. Complete the form, and you will receive login credentials via email. Then, you may access the Marketplace, reset your password, and log in. To begin searching in the Marketplace, select Catalog to find titles grouped by different criteria, such as Popular on Palace and New and Noteworthy. Highlighted features titles exclusively available to libraries in the U.S. through the Palace Marketplace. Indie Catalog features independently published content from Draft to Digital Smashwords. Selections features titles in curated lists created by the Digital Public Library of America's, or DPLA's, Curation Corps members. Libraries can purchase the contents of a curated list or individual titles. Palace Bookshelf features open access titles seamlessly integrated into every library's Palace app collection. In the main catalog, titles are also grouped by genre under Categories. After selecting a category, select a lane to see the left side menu. It will display search filters including release date, language, format, and license information. The most relevant filters for searching for specific license types include license duration, specifying availability duration, loan count, indicating permissible checkouts during the license lifespan, and concurrent users, detailing simultaneous use allowance. At the top right, use search to find titles. You can also select advanced for a more targeted search. Select any title to see detailed information, including licensing options and format. There are several favorable license models available for libraries in the Palace Marketplace. You can see the license options available for a specific title in the Browse view or Detailed view. Some titles will have only one license option, while others will have several options. When you are ready to make a purchase, you must first create a cart. Select My Carts, and then select the New Cart button. When naming the cart on the New Cart screen, please follow best practices such as using a brief descriptive name devoid of special characters. A PO number can be added, although it is not required. Once the cart is created, you may begin searching the catalog to add items to the cart. Always be sure to add items to the intended cart. This is important if you have multiple carts. When you find an item you wish to purchase, Select a quantity next to your desired licensing option, then select the Add to Cart button at the top of the screen. You may continue to add items to your current cart from the catalog screen. Item quantities can be adjusted in the cart. Items can also be deleted from within the cart. As you add items to the cart, the total amount will update automatically at the bottom of the screen. You can also use the Actions button in the cart to edit, delete, and even export the cart to an external CSV file. Another way to add items to a cart is to import a CSV file of ISBNs. To use this function, have the appropriate cart open, select the Actions button, and then select Import ISBNs. Then upload your CSV file, select Item ISBNs, and select the Send button. The CSV file should only include ISBNs without headers or extra data. The items from your CSV file will then be added to your cart. Once you've completed adding items to your cart and are ready to purchase, select Validate Cart to submit for review and validation. 
No further modifications are possible at this stage. A confirmation email follows validation, and materials ordered will be indexed into the Palace app within 24 hours. Your invoice will be sent to the billing contact on record via email at the beginning of the month following your purchase. If you would like help building carts, our Curation Corps of Librarians offers collection development support at no cost to your library. Complete the collection development survey for personalized recommendations provided within two to three weeks of request. BiblioBoard's Palace Community Collection showcases ebooks from more than 60 publishers in more than 30 languages, all available with perpetual or subscription simultaneous use license models. Indie Author Project Select contains almost 1,000 ebooks by independent authors across the U.S. and Canada that are vetted by industry partners like Library Journal. To get started purchasing content from BiblioBoard, fill out the Collection Development Survey. Our curation team will create a content proposal including titles, publication date, subject, and description, as well as pricing. When you're ready to purchase content for your library, notify our manager of outreach at info at thepalaceproject.org. Your content will be available in the Palace app shortly after you purchase the materials. A demo website can be created upon request for libraries that meet a certain minimum spend amount who would like to preview BiblioBoard content prior to purchasing. Please contact us at info at thepalaceproject.org for more information. You should now have a good idea of how to purchase from the Palace Marketplace and BiblioBoard.